Hello and welcome to Tasting with Mike and Matt. I'm Mike Veach and this is my partner in crime, Matt Cohorst. Howdy. And today we are tasting a new bourbon. We are. We're tasting the Ben Holiday from Weston, Missouri. The McCormick Distillery there uh, used to be known before Prohibition as the Old Holiday Distillery, founded by Ben and David Holiday back in the 1850s. And uh, they used to, you know, the Holiday Distillery was merged with a McCormick company that was also in Missouri, not too far away from them, actually, and became known as McCormick. Mm-hmm. And they actually made some pretty decent whiskeys in the up through the six, 1960s and 70s. Uh, uh, I actually had a bottle of a McCormick bottled mine from the late 60s, early 70s, and it was really good whiskey. Oh, nice, nice. But in the 90s, uh, early 90s, the new owners, or the owners at the time, made the decision to buy a distillery in Illinois and ship shift their uh, um, whiskey production to Illinois. And that was a huge mistake. Mm. Because the whiskey that came out of Illinois was horrible. I mean, it was often musty, acetate, just about, you know, uh, textbook bad whiskey. (laughs) (laughs) Like exactly what not to do. (laughs) Right. Yeah. And so basically, they just quit making whiskey altogether. So this is the first whiskey that they have produced in 30 years or more. All right. At that, at this distillery, it has probably been a little over 30 years. Wow. So the decision was made six years ago to uh, start making bourbon again at the distillery. And they decided if they're going to do it, they're going to do it right. So this is a uh, six-year-old bottled and bond whiskey, made to the same mash bill that they uh, um, used prior to this. It's mm-hmm. got a fairly low barrel entry proof. I believe it's like 118. Okay. It's a uh, uh, bottled and bond. It was made in the spring of 2016, bottled in the spring of 2022. And this is what I kind of thought was neat, you know. These barrels came from Warehouse C. Mm-hmm. 21% of the barrels used came from 4.1. The other 79 came from 4.5. So they're actually going to keep track of where the barrels, when they make their bottom That's bond. That's cool. They're letting you know the percentage of where they're getting their, right. what barrel, where it's at. That's really cool. I yeah. like that idea. I think, yeah. Don't you think all, you know, like, well, they don't have to be that descriptive but you know like don't you wish more of the, you know yeah. more of the bourbon industry like or just whiskey industry in general or more forthcoming with you know um, yeah yeah what their stuff's made of kind of right you know? i agree you know and i think you probably will see this as more distilleries mature and they start putting their own product in the uh bottle <laughs> sure yeah yeah, yeah. see and, and unfortunately they've also you know they they call in this ben holiday Changed the name of the distillery to Ben Holiday again. It's a cool bottle, too. Yeah, I, I cool. like the design. Because um, they got to get away from that McCormick reputation. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and... It's been 30 the, years, but right. <laughs> right, but still, yeah. people still remember. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it's uh, a cool bottle. I love the, the stagecoach on it because Ben Holiday was known as the stagecoach king. He invested heavily in the stagecoach industry in the West. Uh, also invested in the uh, Pony Express, and then oh, also wow. invested in railroads. So he was very well known uh, throughout the West. I bet there's a lot of stories about you know yeah. back in those days. He he did the investments and all this stuff. He actually uh, died out in uh, Oregon. Oh, okay. But he left his brother David to run the distillery. And, you know, I love the, uh, the label here is a uh, um, kind of a flashback to the 50s, I think. You know, it's got that style. And what I love about it, it's got a screw cap. Yes. If you don't think I like a screw cap, go read my blog and praise <laughs> the screw cap. 
Now you went to this distillery, right? And I went to this distillery. They're a bunch of really nice people. They're young distiller, and I do mean young. He's uh, your age or less. <laughs> wow. wow. Uh, is making really good whiskey. He is... Uh, Still doesn't like the the fact that they call him a master distiller. I, you you got to like that, you know. He, he yeah. says he's still learning. That's awesome. He is a, a definitely a, a distiller of high quality. Mm -hmm. And they gave me this sweet shirt right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean the shirt that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Um, you know, six year old. That's a kind of oh, you a know, nice color. right on the amber color. You yeah. know, you don't see a lot of whiskeys at six years even that that have that dark of a color. So let's nose it. See, I'm getting a lot of like caramel and mm -hmm. maybe apricot and berries. Maybe yeah. a hand of like lemon zest. There's like a, I, mean, I guess just baking spices going yeah. on there, yeah. Maybe cardamom, maybe allspice. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. A little bit of oak. Very pleasant nose. Mm-hmm. So, let's take a All sip. Right. Oh yeah, right away you get like rich, rich caramel. Mm-hmm. And like the dark fruit, like the yeah. The, uh, um, and that little bit of lemon zest. Yeah, it's got a little citrus note. Yeah, it's great. Um, finish is really nice too. Yeah. Like I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a maybe like a white pepper, floral pepper. White you white pepper. I I would say either white pepper or like, you know, cardamom or some other you know lighter spice. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, maybe I could see white pepper. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice complexity to it. Um, and even like a, yeah, maybe a little, just a tiny hint of chocolate in there too for me on that second sip. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Mostly on the finish. Mm -hmm. It's nice, thick, and rich. Mm -hmm. Comes to the mouth. Oh, yeah. This is nice stuff. Oh, yeah. This is very good whiskey. So let's try it for cranberry. Wow, that really brought out that lemon zest. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a lemon drop candy. Mm -hmm. It is, really, yeah. Yeah, like lemonade-y. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, delicious. And um, that lemon just even lingers right into the finish. It goes right in there, yeah. The finish uh, is kind of sweet. like a little, Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little like citrusy sweet. Um, and oak there. Yeah, oak and... Maybe just a slight hint of spices, but mostly that lemon. Mm -hmm. That lemon really takes over with that cranberry. It's really good. Yeah. Try it with a piece of pecan. Now that really brings out the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Chocolate, caramel, not as spicy. Not as spicy. I'm still getting a little bit of that lemon. Mm -hmm. Or is it really maybe... I don't know, it's kind of like leaning more towards maybe like oh. almost like a sour cherry for me right now. Okay. I don't know what that is, but... Um, I was going to say maybe leaning more towards... Uh, it, it, to me it's still citrus, but it might be a little bit more tangerine. Mm. Yeah, it still has that really thick and rich, mm -hmm. yeah, chocolate, creamy. Um, the finish is really nice. Um, man, I'm getting like a little like, like chocolate peanut buttery finish almost on the end of it. It's mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. and, and a good bit of oak too. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so let's well, try it with a kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's favorite, right? <laughs> Speaking of chocolate, let's try it with the chocolate. <laughs> mm. 
Holy citrus. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that. It really surprised me because I was expecting a lot of caramel or something. Right, yeah. And it's like citrus. Mm-hmm. A good citrus. Yeah, Not it's like lemon zest, orange zest. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, the finish. You don't get it. I don't, they don't even get caramel until the finish. Right, yeah. Yeah, which is good. I mean, I, yeah. like I, I think I prefer to probably neat and... I don't know, maybe with a, I don't know, pecan maybe? Maybe pecan for me, maybe. Yeah. I did, I did like it with the cherry. Yeah, I think, I think the chocolate made it too one-dimensional. Yeah, I think so too, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the pecan, I think, was my best if you were going to try it with something. But, you know, neat. Sip it neat, actually. I just sip this stuff neat. It's yeah. pretty good. Um, so, the... Ben Holiday Distillery. Good job. Welcome back. Welcome back and good job. Tastes great.